Darby del Camino Real round two. El Paso Locomotive FC hosting New Mexico United tonight at Southwest University Park for the second time in nine days. And this was a big one. These two clubs separated by just one point in the standing. So first place seemingly on the line. Let's roll some highlights. The rain started out light. It would eventually turn into a downpour and it would seem to favor NM United. Josh Snugs on the free kick and Chris Wien is going to find the back of the net off the set piece and it puts the bad guys up 1-0. And then in stoppage time, Devin Sandoval has been given Locomotive FC fits and he did so again tonight. Sneaks it past Logan Ketterer to put United up 2-0. Locomotive would get a goal in the second half off a PK by Josue Aaron Gomez, but it was too little too late. 2-1 the final. KTSM Knights Colin Deaver is live at Southwest University Park. A tough result for Los Locos, Colin. Andy, New Mexico United, over the last couple of years, they just have El Paso's number. They played four times. El Paso has lost twice. There have been two draws. There has not been a locomotive victory. And this one was a lot like the one we saw last Wednesday when these two squads met up at Southwest University Park. El Paso not taking its chances in the final third as well as Mark Lowry would like them to, whereas New Mexico United scoring two goals on really their best two chances of the night. And that's really the name of the game uh, in soccer is if you're not taking your chances and you're going to struggle to win El Paso, had plenty of them in that second half, uh, especially a couple of them coming um, coming down to really nice saves being made by the New Mexico United goal, goalkeeper that kept the game 2-0 uh, for a lot of it. Obviously, you saw Josue Aaron Gomez getting the uh, PK goal to make it 2-1 to one, uh, in favor of United. But yeah, El Paso just not taking its chances as well as Coach Lowry would like tonight. That is something they need to improve on and quickly. It was a much better start than the previous game, last week's game against them. We just should have been one up after 10 minutes. We had a couple of chances, got some great areas, didn't capitalize on it, and then an injury happens, momentum change, they get a free kick that's not a free kick, and they score a set piece. We hate conceding set pieces, but you know, I think they had two, two shots, and they scored two goals. That's, that's the difference. Overall, probably fair to say United deserved the three points tonight. They were pretty solid. El Paso, though, will lament the missed opportunities in that second half with the defeat. El Paso in second place in Group C with five points. New Mexico takes over first place with seven points. Locomotive will look to rebound next Saturday night with their first road game of the restarts at Phoenix. That's on August 1st. For now, live at the ballpark, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports. All right, thank you, Colin. Here is a look at those updated standings in Group C. As he mentioned, United now on top of Group C with seven points. Locomotive now two points back.